y'all welcome to the channel this is not only my channel but my cousin too jordan we're first cousins so we're doing this jordan wasn't on this fast with me so we talked about it and i'm just gonna do a quick video on why i fasted what i went through the wisdom that i learned i'm gonna put information in the description box of all the videos i watched while fasting i know some benefits of water fasting that's the fast that i did water fasting but um these videos go really in into the benefits that your body can get now there's so many different types of fasts there's dry fasting no food no water and you do that for an amount of hours or amount of days however you want there's water fasting that's what i did um water tea now I did add herbs. I put in maca, spirulini, I had cloves, um, no honey. I did put lemon in my water because some of this water out here, real talk, is not all that. The lemon, if I mean, if y'all know what I'm talking most of y'all should know what I'm talking about. The lemon basically helps like detoxify your water, it's gonna help detoxify your body, it's an extra boost. So you're not messing up your fast with the lemon. I do have a food list here from the, I want to say the Herbal Pharmacy in Hampton, Virginia. And I used to work there. Uh -huh. The Holistic Pharmacy, excuse me. And um, definitely, we'll, we'll go through this too. I know y'all can't see because of the lights and whatnot, but we'll go through that as well. And then you have your vegetables and fruits. You could just do vegetables and fruits. No meat, no bread, no sugar. Those type of fasts, and you can even fast from social media, fast from toxic people. There's all different types of fasts that you can take. So please don't watch this video thinking, oh my gosh, there's no way I'd be able to do a water fast or a dry fast and just not eat food. That's just what I chose to do. I wanted to see what would happen if I did that. But I also felt a lot of stagnant energy around me before I did my fast. And... It was just, it was, it was time to do it, if that makes sense. Sometimes you get a calling to do a fast. Um, something tells you that it's time to detoxify your body. I had eaten so much pizza. Like, I ate a lot of pizza um, the day before I fasted. I didn't know I was going to fast, by the way. I had no idea I was going to do it. I, ate, I was eating like a bunch of pizza and then I was at work. I didn't have breakfast, only had tea. I always have my morning tea. If y'all know me, I'm always drinking tea, right? And I'm at work, just sitting there and I'm like, okay, like it's, it's time. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna eat anything. And I'm gonna try not to eat anything for seven days. That was my goal, seven days. I'm not gonna eat anything, I'm not gonna drink any smoothies, Nothing like that. I'm just going to do water and tea. And I'm going to try to do it for seven days. On the spot. I, I had made like my mind up about that. Why I stopped at five days and four nights. I'll go into that later, I, I think. But there's a couple different lessons I learned while I was fasting. That's really what I want to share with y'all. I don't believe that you have to go through a fast to learn these particular lessons. Some of y'all might not already know, excuse me, might already know these lessons, you know. So this was just me evolving as evolving my spirit, I guess. And basically, this is just my growth. What you would learn from a fast or um, what you would go through would be a whole different type of growth for you. And everything's personal. So the first thing, and I, I wrote it down. Actually, it's in my purse, but look, we'll do this off the top of my head, okay? As I, I wrote it down at work, because I was like, I, I really learned like a lot during this fast, right? So, basically, the first thing is like letting go. When you're not eating and everybody's eating around you, I mean, my boyfriend had pancakes by me and Rice, rice Krispie Treats, and he's catching fish, and he's frying fish, and you know, my boyfriend loves to eat. I love to eat. So he's he's doing him and to have the discipline to be like, it's okay. And like, 
I'm, I'm not attached to food. I'm not going to be attached to food. I'm not going to be attached to alcohol, smoking, sex. Like, I'm detaching myself. I'm going to train my body to not, um, to understand that without those things that we're, we are going to be okay. Like, my body and I will be fine. You know, and so basically it's like I'm building a relationship with my body and with my spirit and my mind. And there's like, there's emotions going on too. So we're talking like mind, body, spirit, emotions. We're building this relationship together and we're taking this time. It's just going to be us. It's just going to be us and water and we're going to see what's going on with us. And we're not going to let anybody get in the way. So just to make it super, super clear, because I don't think I made it super clear in the beginning no food, no sex, no alcohol, no smoking. I was going to do that for seven days. And I'm still doing that, okay? But I'll, I'll get to that part at the end. I'm just not doing the food part. Well, I am, but I'm not. Okay, well, I'll explain that later. Anyway, so that's, that was the first lesson, like letting go. How to let go of the food and other stuff like okay like I can I can trust myself enough to know that we can do this and we can spend this time with just like us right and then as I'm going through the second day I I received like some I guess you could call it like wealth consciousness so and it, it actually came to me in the shower like when you're thinking about food you know, that, that's lack in my life right now because my body is literally lacking food. Like, I'm not eating. And to keep my mind off of that, I had to think about things that I was receiving. Like, I was forced to think about all the things that, that was actually like coming into my life. So literally, the second day, I'm reprogramming my mind. You know, I cannot focus on lack. It's, it's to the point like I would go insane thinking about the lack of food. Like you would have to eat thinking about the lack of food. So I'm just thinking about everything that I'm receiving. Okay, I have work. I have to do this for my internship. I have to do this for work. I have to prepare for that. And oh, wow, like I started receiving gifts. Like, like these, are, these are some gifts I received from the past. Like they're my little studio audience right now. And... um. I, I got a purse. I got things that I have been wanting to get for a minute, like liquid chlorophyll, pH 10 water. Things I've been meaning to buy that I hadn't bought, I bought, finally. My natal chart reading. I, that, that was a big deal, too. So there was a bunch of things that I was trying to get for my health and that I was trying to get for my spirit that it was being blocked. And actually, a lot of that stuff, um, like the pH 10 and the liquid chlorophyll came on the first day I decided to fast. Then more things started coming the second day. And I was more aware of those things coming in because I was focusing on what I was receiving. I couldn't, like, you. I'm so serious. You And I've said that, I already said it, but you will go insane. You will go insane on a fast thinking about what you're lacking. Like, it's just, it's not going to work. So you start reprogramming your mind for like this wealth consciousness. You start looking at what you can do. I started, um, and I was I was so much more focused. I got so much work done. That was another thing. It seemed like the food was really distracting me. That's another reason I went on the fast. It was like, I'm going to work. I'm eating food. I'm watching some TV. I'm doing my YouTube thing. I'm, I'm still doing my, my spiritual stuff. You know, I'm staging and little this little here little there whatever but I wasn't taking it up to the notch the level that it needs to be at so I was like okay like I gotta we gotta move this along so the food has to be out of the equation right even with this YouTube thing like I we've been meaning to do this YouTube for a minute and there's so there's things I had to set up for that so you know keep Get that energy moving and start that up. That had to come into play. So, um, another lesson. What we went through. Letting go, receiving wealth consciousness. That was two lessons I received. Letting go 
and receiving wealth consciousness to a degree, right? There's We can expand all of these things. It's not like you receive it and then that's it. You can always expand this stuff. The third thing, I might have got it all like the third or the fourth day. I felt like I was initiating myself into womanhood. I had gotten all my work done. It's like I just worked. Because, you know, you're not eating. Like, I'm not taking up an hour in the kitchen to eat. You know, like, it's this stuff that eating takes time out of your day. You, you really would be surprised. And then your body has to digest it. So now I have energy. There's this whole other wave of energy when you fast. And I'm having all this energy. I worked. I got all that stuff out the way. And I just started preparing. I was more proactive. I don't know. I used to be this proactive in high school. But I, I was getting my stuff ready for work. Just things I should have been doing anyway. Um, getting my stuff ready for work. My lunch ready. Making sure that I had this, this, and this set up. Making sure I have my pH 10 water. My lemon the cup I was going to drink out for work because I I had to be proactive and make sure that everything was put into place before the day started or else I would have failed that fifth day. And I don't even though even though I I started drinking smoothies that evening or if you want to say that late afternoon cuz it was around it was around 2:30 p.m. to me it was a win. I, I had gone through the whole work day. And I'll go more into that also later. As I, as I keep saying. So. Letting go. Wealth consciousness. A, a part of wealth consciousness. Initiation into womanhood. Restarting my body. All the toxins. Anything that happened from 2017. Or any negativity from... Early 2018, I, that's, that stuff is gone. I cleaned house. like All that past stuff is out. And I also just graduated in August. So this fast, I don't think it's overdue. I had it at the right time, but it definitely was necessary. Definitely would have been a mistake for me not to have done it. Okay. So all of that, all the emotions and everything like that. All, all that's gone. Cleansed all that out. The last lesson I got, now, and there were, there were a lot of lessons. I had written them down, but we're, we're going to try and keep this video super short. Last lesson I got from this fast was a whole other lesson on letting go. So remember, when I talked about lesson number one, about letting go, like letting go of food, not getting attached to food, drinks, I like learning how to say no, staying uh, disciplined and being consistent with my nose. Because even though this is only four or five days, you're talking about saying no constantly to food. There's donuts in the office when I go into work. Like I said, like my boyfriend's eating, my cousin's cooking. You know, the, people want to go out and have a good time. Eat. And I, I was down with going out and everything, but... You know, no. <laughs> no, like, I am i can't eat when I go out. And you want to make other people feel uncomfortable because you're the only one not eating. Like, that's not cool. So, there's so many, there's sacrifices, constant sacrifices just within a day. Like, just, just fast within a day and you'll see all the temptations. It's crazy, right? So, that's one part of letting go. The second part of letting go, I'm at work and... God, the amount of water I had to drink was crazy. I I had to drink so much water just to get through work. And, you know, like, the, you're going to the bathroom like clockwork. And I was just like, I'm, I'm cool with this part of this. I'm, I'm cool with being hungry. I'm cool with making sure that I'm not as hungry by drinking water. I'm cool with going to the bathroom like clockwork. I'm cool with all of that. 
you know, and you get to a point where you don't even feel hungry anymore for a certain time. So all of that's cool, whatever. But when I started feeling my legs feeling like sticks, I said, oh my gosh, I didn't prepare. I have to build my body back up. I I have to, and you know, I've been working out here and there, but I really have to go back into the gym or my room, wherever, and I have to build my body back up. I can't even... I can't really do the seven day water fast the way I want to because I have to go back to the drawing board and prepare. So you see, this attempt, in a way, because my goal was seven days, you'd be like, oh, well, it was a fail. But I learned so much about what I need to do to make sure that it would be successful the next year. Probably next year, I'll probably do this, honestly. Or whenever I get the calling to do that again, that type of fast again. So, I, I you have to build, for anybody, anybody who might be, like, really, really skinny, and I'm not saying you can't do it if you're skinny. If you're cool with being skinny, cool. You know what I'm saying? If you're cool with losing the weight, lose it. It's, it's really not a big deal, because we're really talking about our spirituality here and getting our, you know, and cleansing out toxic energy, and, you know, we could care less about the weight when it comes to that type of stuff. So... Understand that this is a personal journey and it's a personal decision, right? But for me, I was like, oh, it was it was an epiphany. I can't, if I'm not going to be attached to food, I also can't be attached to the days that I set for this goal. I know that I completed what I need to complete with this fast. That's another thing that comes, you know when like you're good. If that makes sense. It, your body, your spirit, it, everything checks in with you. And so it resonated with me. I'm like, okay, I'm good. I did what I had to do for this fast. Now it's time to just build my body back up. So now I'm I'm still fasting. Vegetables and fruits. Okay. Tons of smoothies. No meat. No bread. No sugar. Still no sex. No alcohol. No smoking. So I'm still going to the seven days. It's not like I said, oh, F it, and I ate a bunch of cookies or anything like that. Because remember, you also can do a vegetable fast, a fruit fast, vegetable and fruit fast, whatever. Whatever type of fast you want to do or that's right for you. So with all of that being said, just, just make sure that for those of you who are interested in fasting, that... Don't, whoever, you know, whatever naysayers and whatever people might say, make sure you check in with whatever it is that you want to do. This this is for you. It's a personal journey. It's not anybody else's. Okay. I am going to add in links in the description box of the people that I watched during this fast. Okay. So that, that we're talking about fasting. They go into more of the benefits for your body there's some people who go more into the spirituality of it and how to prepare better for it um i am not about withholding information this is not about uh in anything like that you know what i'm saying i'm gonna put all the info i got i'm gonna put it all in the description box below um i'll even blog I have a blog and it's basically um, about the herbal cleanse. And that's another thing I want to talk about really, really quick because I don't want to make this video too long, but you know. Um, with the herbal cleanse, it's really, really good because you cleanse out your body before you fast. I don't think that I properly cleanse my body out all the way before I fast. Remember, I talked about all that pizza I ate the day before and then the next day I was like, oh, I'm, I'm going to fast type thing. Um, and these herbs are definitely good for cleansing out your system. You don't want, you don't want anything like sitting in you for like five, seven days. Like that's not cool. Or even 40 days. You know, some people, some people do this water fast for 40 days. So like none of this is impossible or anything. And if you have any questions about like the herbal fast, definitely go to the holistic pharmacy. Okay. Holistic pharmacy, Hampton, Virginia. Look them up. Um, they talk about the five major pathways for toxin elim elimination. Um, 
I'll go through that real quick. But like, again, this really isn't my, I feel like this isn't really my thing to share. It's really the holistic pharmacy's thing to share, but it's defecation, urination, uh, reciprocation, uh, sweating, precipitation. Oh, meditation. Make sure you do your med. Oh man, you want to meditate while you fast. You definitely want to do that. Definitely do that. When you fast, definitely the time to pray, meditate, all of that. And I could talk about this forever, honestly. But if there's any point I didn't hit on or any questions that y'all have, just leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, then you know you like it, whatever. Subscribe if you want to see my cousin and I do more videos or any other video ideas that you have about that. We're going to be talking about herbs and, well, y'all know I'm going to get all, all into it. How to sage herbs. Um, I'm learning about numerology. I'm a student in that or whatever. And I'm a student in all this kind of stuff. But I, I'm not claiming to have mastered any of this yet. We're all going to be learning together. Okay. So. Thank you. I hope that helps somebody else out in their journey. Um, I don't want to say Ashe, but Ashe.